Hello, so I've been recording videos more often and posting updates on my blog of how I'm doing recovering from surgery, but that's also mixed in with a lot of computer programming stuff because I spend most of my time doing computer programming related things, whether I'm messing around in SDL working on my rolling checkerboard program or whether I'm learning about different software and IDEs and compilers and programming languages. I read a lot. I read so much computer stuff and the scary thing is I actually understand about half of it. The, the average computer user doesn't know programming, doesn't know um, all the details of bits and bytes and RAM and and computer programming languages and functions. I, it's a whole other language. And you know, that's the part of me that I really like. I like the part of me that's good at machines and math and knows how to do computer programming because that's what I'm best at. I'm really, really good when it comes to using computers and doing all kinds of fun things. Um, so I like that, you know. But what I want to talk about is the eternal struggle between trying to enjoy life but also being sad about the things that you can't change. Because anybody who's followed me uh, knows that for a long time I've done podcasts with people talking about various issues. You know, I, I've, I've, you know there's, there's so many things to talk about. There's the fact that humans are killing billions of, of animals uh, for food and clothing and other uh, entertainment things. You know, it, you, seriously, yes, the world needs to go vegan. And I, I've, I've mentioned that so many times. But the fact of the matter is there are people who enjoy uh, murdering and raping humans as well as other animals. And the other animals um, just have it so bad. So that's why I'm an ethical vegan. That's why I've spoken about that for so many years. And of course, you know, I've spoken about the abortion issue, the murder of unborn children. I've talked about all these various social issues, but at the end of the day, what more can be done? And, and here's the thing. You can tell people what is the right thing to do. You can, you can tell people um, that they should be living an ethical life, but the bottom line is people are not obligated to do what you tell them to. And I want to talk a little bit about that. I can tell somebody that murder is wrong and they can just decide to murder me and shut me up. Bottom line, the evil guys win and the good guys lose. That's just the fact of the matter. All the bad guys have to do is murder the peaceful, um, innocent, uh, nonviolent ones. It's as simple as that. The only power I have is how I choose to live my own life as a vegan, you know, eating only plants instead of animal products and doing my best to avoid products, you know, tested or produced with animals otherwise. And that plays into every aspect of my life. Um, and as far as the abortion issue, hey, what more can be said? I don't have sex, so I don't get anybody pregnant. Therefore, I'm not causing anyone to have an abortion. But it is a serious ethical dilemma for those people who are having sex because then they have to consider that they either have to um, they either have to let that child be born and, and raise it or give it up for adoption, or, as many of them do, they abort it. They murder their, their children. You know, so it's, it's an ethical dilemma for people who have a conscience. Um, but for people who have no conscience and don't care about right or wrong, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. And here's what it comes down to. Although I, I have a lot of opinions on morality, I think it's also important to understand how this fits in with the fact that I'm apolitical. I don't vote. I'm not really into legal stuff because here's what laws are about. Laws are about 
police uh, pointing a gun at you and sh and sh shooting you if you don't comply with whatever they think you should do, whether whether it's real laws that exist or um, whether it's just whatever those police officers want you to do because they're bad police officers and people know all this. What it comes down to is that governments and laws are about violence. That w w whenever you try to enforce law, what does that mean? When you, si when you send police after someone to arrest them and if they run away, the, the police officers will shoot them. So what it comes down to is I can't be a political person. I really can't be a political person and make my life about voting for certain candidates or telling other people who to vote for, which is really kind of rude. Because laws are about governments forcing things on you, forcing you to pay taxes, forcing you to uh, wear masks, or forcing you to take vaccines, which is something I'm worried about. And we're all worried about governments and p the police and military forcing us to do things we won't, don't want to do and killing us or s throwing us in jail if we don't. So governments are about force. Governments are about violence. As a vegan, as a, as a nonviolent person who sw who sworn nonviolence, I can never be one of those people who uh, threatens you with violence unless you agree to stop your violence. So, you know, for example, the, there, there are even legitimate reasons why perhaps it's not for the best for, for veganism to be mandated. Because although we should, all be, we should all be kind to the animals, we should not be killing them, obviously. We shouldn't be killing these babies. Trying to make laws about it may not always turn out for the best because what, what happens? Um, do, do you have police officers go 24-7 and, and shoot everybody who, um, who hurts, an, hurts an animal everywhere? It's unenforceable um, from a time perspective and from a money perspective. You know, it's, it, would be, it would be hard if not impossible. Even if we had a 99% uh, population in the U.S., or anywhere of vegans, it would be very hard to enforce um, veganism, um, you know, through laws. It would be very hard to enforce, um, you know, uh, laws restricting abortion. It, it's hard to enforce such laws. So people can agree or disagree on the merits about passing laws legally about what is done about certain things. But the bottom line is that. Our laws should reflect our morality. They should reflect our morality, but it really comes from your own conscience and what you know to be right or wrong and whether or not you, you follow that. And that's, that is individual choice. Although I, I also have spoken about how none of us have free will. We don't, we don't just freely make choices because our choices have prior causes, but our causal choices, they are what they are and we have what we have. So, I can't really do much more than I have done about these issues that I've mentioned. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to enjoy my life. I have things I enjoy doing. I had my surgery. I'm out of pain. I'm feeling better. And sometimes I worry about, you know, financially. Sometimes I worry about things. But I'm trying to get out of the habit of worrying about things. Because yes, there's always things to worry about. And yes, there are things that could kill us at any minute. But just worrying about it just eats away at my mental health. So I'm really trying not to do that. I'm trying to work on my emotional health. Now that I've got my physical health worked out, I'm going to work out my emotional health. And I even make it back into professional counseling, you know, to someone to talk to about my emotional struggles. That's something I've been meaning to do. But the testicle pain um, and, tr and fighting to get surgery for the past two years has meant that my mental health was not good because I couldn't focus on my emotional needs. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's, that is my new goal is focusing on my mental or emotional health. So that's my current update and those are my thoughts for now. Hope you've enjoyed. And I think the best thing I could leave you with is the words of Bill and Ted. 
be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes!